Bamboo Bridge by G.E. Quantao. Location, China. Hi, I'm Adam, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to model a parametric bridge. Let's start. Center box. Number slider, 20. Connect to Y input. 30. Make a copy. Connect to X and Z inputs. 5. Twist. Connect box to geometry. We must specify an axis of rotation. We have to find the centers of these two faces and connect them with a line. Deconstruct prep. Connect box to prep. Disable preview of center box. We will use the list item component to select both faces separately. List item. Connect faces to list. Surface. Connect item to surface. We chose the first face. Click the plus icon. Copy. We will find the opposite face by connecting the outputs to surface. Plus 2 is the second face we are looking for. We will find the center point of these two surfaces using the area component. Area. We can delete the surface components. Connect item to geometry. Copy. Connect plus 2 item to geometry. Now we will connect these two points. Line. Connect centroids to inputs A and B. Connect line to axis. Disable preview. Number slider, 150. Connect to angle. Wow. Right click on angle. Degrees. We have to choose multiples of 90A. So the beginning and end of the box remain fixed. 450. First and last faces must be orthogonal. Contour. Connect geometry to shape. We will create contours in the Y direction. Unit Y. Connect to direction. Number slider, 0 0.5. Connect to distance. Disable preview of twist. A little hard to see results right away. Keep it at 0 0.5. Offset curve. Connect contours to curve. We need to change the offset plane to offset the curves inward. We can see which plane we should choose by looking at the bottom left. XZ plane. Connect to plane input. We offset the curves inward. Now we will change the distance value. For this we can divide the distance between the contours. Division, slash 3. Connect number slider to A input. Connect result to distance. Now let's create faces between these curves. Ruled surface. Connect curve to curve A. Connect contours to curve B. Disable preview. Extrude. Connect surface to base. We have to extrude in the Y direction. Unit Y. Connect to direction. In the same way, we will use the distance between the contours for the extrude value. Connect result to factor. Disable preview of ruled surface. Custom preview. Connect extrusion to geometry. Color swatch. Connect to material. Disable preview of extrude. Perspective. Arctic. Finally, let's scale a copy of the first box to implement solid difference operation. Scale new. 
Connect box to geometry. Number slider, 1.01. Connect to Y input. Make a copy. Connect to X input. Scale X, 0 0.95. A value enough to exceed the thickness of the woods will be sufficient. Move. Connect geometries. We have to move down. Unit Z. Connect to motion. Number slider, minus 5.00 less than 0. Connect to factor. Disable preview of scale new. Solid difference. Connect extrusion to breps A. Connect geometry to breps B. Connect result to geometry. Disable preview. Wow. If you have difficulty in making the model, you can download and examine the grasshopper file in the description. Double click on Rhino viewport. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.